Hello students! In today's lesson, we will discuss the fourth learning activity sheet and this learning activity sheet will help you understand the structure of DNA and RNA, explain how DNA replication takes place, and how the process of transcription and translation happens. The learning competency explain how protein is made using information from DNA. The specific objectives are compare the structure of DNA and RNA, explain the process of DNA replication, transcription, and translation, and create a model of DNA replication, transcription, and translation. The structures of DNA and RNA are nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are long biological macromolecules that consist of smaller molecules called nucleotides. In the first activity, you will fill in the table by comparing the structures of DNA and RNA molecules in terms of the following. The number of strands, location in the cell, the type of sugar, and the nitrogenous bases. I'll give you 5 minutes to fill in the table. So let's reveal the answers. For DNA, there are two strands, while in RNA, there is only one strand. DNA is located in the nucleus of the cell, while RNA is found in the cytoplasm. The type of sugar for DNA, the oxyribose. In RNA, the sugar is ribose. For nitrogenous bases or nitrogen bases, for DNA, the nitrogenous bases are thymine, cytosine, adenine, and guanine. Thymine and cytosine referred to as pyrimidines, and adenine and guanine are called purines. Then for RNA, the nitrogenous bases are cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. So, the thymine in DNA is replaced by uracil in RNA. In the next activity, you will arrange the following events in replication or in DNA replication using letters A to E given the diagram and the set of events happen in DNA replication. For example, if you think the first step is number 1, you will write letter A on the space before the number 1. If you choose number 5 as the last step, you will write letter E on the space before number 5. So is that understood? So please start answering. So these are the steps in DNA replication. The first step is number 1. So it is letter A in number 1. So we will write letter A before number 1. The second step is number 4. You will write letter B before number 4. Then the third step is number 3. So that is letter C. The fourth step is number 2. This is letter D. And the last step is number 5. So you will write letter E before number 5. Okay, so let's move on. In the next activity, 
Please analyze the figure shown on the screen and identify the role of the three RNA, the transfer RNA, or tRNA, the ribosomal RNA or rRNA, and the messenger RNA or mRNA by connecting the circles in column A with that in column B. So these are the answers. For transfer RNA, it carries amino acids to the ribosome and matches them to the coded mRNA message. For the ribosomal RNA, it forms an important part of both subunits, the large and the smaller subunits of the ribosome. And for messenger RNA, it carries instructions for polypeptide synthesis from the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. In the next activity, you will label the diagram and explain the process of protein synthesis using the terms displayed on the screen. So let's reveal the answers. In part A of the activity, the answer for number 1 is transcription. For number 2, translation. For number 3, mRNA or messenger RNA Number 4, tRNA or transfer RNA And then for number 5, proteins Then in part B, DNA is a double helix molecule composed of complementary strands of deoxyribonucleotides units the sequence of nucleotides in DNA directs the order of nucleotides in messenger RNA in a process called transcription. So the answer for number one is transcription. The three major types of RNA that help build proteins are mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. The messenger RNA or mRNA carries information in DNA to ribosomes found in the cytoplasm. So the answer for number 2 is mRNA or messenger RNA. The process of converting information in messenger RNA into a sequence of amino acid that make a protein is known as translation. So for number 3, the answer is translation. The role of tRNA is to bring the amino acid in the cytoplasm to the ribosomes to make proteins. So for number 4, the answer is tRNA or transfer RNA. And for number 5, proteins. A DNA is a double helix molecule composed of complementary strands of deoxyribonucleotides units. The complementary base pairs of DNA are held by hydrogen bonds. If DNA is a double helix molecule, RNA is a single-stranded molecule. Examples of RNA types include messenger RNA or mRNA, rRNA or ribosomal RNA, and tRNA or transfer RNA. In DNA, adenine always bonds with thymine, and cytosine bonds with guanine. In RNA, adenine bonds with uracil and cytosine bonds with guanine. DNA is made up of sugars, phosphate groups, and nitrogenous bases, and its shape is a double helix. The complementary structure of the two strands of DNA allow its strand to serve as a template during replication. The specificity of base pairing in DNA, adenine with thymine and cytosine with guanine, allows DNA to replicate itself with accuracy. The sequence of nucleotides in DNA directs the order of nucleotides in messenger RNA in a process called transcription. The process of converting the information in messenger RNA into a sequence of amino acids that make a protein is known as translation.
As a sort of your performance task, you will create a model of transcription and translation process using the materials listed in your activity sheets. And also, please follow the procedure in the activity. Your output in the performance task will be graded according to the scoring rubrics provided in the last part of the learning activity sheets.